Hey YouTubers, Mo here from Mo's Motorcycle Journey. Went ahead and tried the old Seafoam and the old Goldwing GL1800. Something, all I did was add it to the gas, but uh, a couple do's and don'ts about it, which I will share with you in just a moment. Start the intro. <laughs> back youtubers so what I did was I I was experiencing just a slight hesitation with this thing um, and it was just right as you got on the throttle uh, so like doing you know slow speed turns got a little tricky for me uh, so like I said sea foam I went ahead and, and tried this sea foam um, what I did was I ended up putting half a bottle so half of this bottle which is 16 fluid ounces I put half a bottle into my tank and I filled up my tank now I drove this thing 286 miles and I was I think I was out of gas then so I filled up again and now I, I would say that was pretty much it for the sea foam. It was probably gone out of the tank at that point. So yeah, I filled up again, started going. Everything was a lot smoother. So, you know, guys, I will say, if, if you have a little slight hesitation, this stuff is good for it. And not only is it good for it, I'm gonna show you something else that I realized. Probably not a lot of people will tell you. Uh, if you do sea foam half a bottle into your tank, on a motorcycle I would recommend changing the oil right away afterwards that oil looks like it's been in there for a couple seasons my oil filter you can see the remnants on the top which is just it's just filthy um, believe it or not there's a thousand miles on that oil and I know this for a fact because I know when it was changed and I also checked it after it was changed and it was crystal clean clear I was like oh okay the oil's good I ain't got to change the oil um, so the only thing that could have created that would be the seafoam so the seafoam did clean out this motor uh, very good um, like I said that is black I'm, I've seen black oil before, but that's black. Uh, that's blacker than black. That's coal black. And I've, I've just, I've never had oil in any of my vehicles that dirty. Uh, and again, that's a thousand miles. So if you're going to use the seafoam, guys, I recommend um, getting your oil changed right after you do that, that process. Uh, but let me go ahead and finish this up. Uh, I know there's a lot of videos on getting oil changed on a gold wing, so I wasn't going to, you know, include all the video um, on everything that I'm doing, you know, pointing out it's a 17 millimeter bolt to, to take the, the oil plug off. And I just use a handy dandy oil wrench for my auto. Uh, works the same. Uh, and of course, I have my brand new Honda filter that I'm going to be putting on. I was pretty surprised at how much that thing cost, but um, it's original Honda OEM equipment. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be putting in Honda oil. Let me let me grab that real quick. So what I'm actually using is Castrol uh, 10W40. Sorry, it's so dark in here, guys. 10W40 SAE motorcycle oil, full synthetic. Um, it's pretty pretty good oil from everything that I've read. I was going to do a Valvoline motorcycle four-stroke 
full synthetic oil, but I couldn't find the the Valvoline, so I ended up going with the Castrol. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm a big fan of it, but I've never used it for a motorcycle. So, um, and it gets full synthetic. There's a lot of raves and reviews about it. A lot of people use it in Gold Wings. Um, I just wasn't going to pay that high dollar for the Honda motor oil when everyone tells me that that this is uh, better. Uh, of course, everyone, there's going to be somebody out there that disagrees with, with that, and that's totally fine. It's uh, personal preference at this point. Uh, but, yeah, that's what we're going to put in it, and we'll see how things go. There's, there's a little better view of that oil filter, which I noticed my O-ring is on there, so we're good. But look at how dirty that oil is a thousand miles so if you're telling me that i can only get you know three four thousand miles five thousand miles on this oil that's what it looked like at a normal oil change at a thousand miles i would be yanking it out at 500 miles that's got to be from the seafoam so i had a lot of carbon deposits inside this motor at just forty-eight thousand miles and another quick thing i noticed i had one of these bottom pans on the bottom there that covers up that hole right there every video that I've watched for doing an oil change I didn't see that pan on it so I don't know what the whole purpose of this this pan goes to but other than covering that up usually everyone's is wide open like that but yeah I was just pointing that out guys I haven't seen any pans like that on any videos and not saying they're not out there. I just, I, any video I saw, maybe they already had them off. I don't know. All right, guys, and for those that say you need a funnel to do this, you know, not dogging you, funnel would be a lot easier, but I forgot to pick one up when I was at the store, so I cannot believe I actually poured this in this gold wing without spilling a drop down it. Very interesting. Okay, we got her started up. She's cold, so she's running high. Of course, it's only, I know it says 48 degrees in the shed, but I got the heat going. It, it's like 35 degrees right here in Michigan right now. But, and I would say just just from doing that, it's, it's a lot quieter already. Um, and again, that was a full synthetic oil change. Uh, Castrol after I put my sea foam in. Um, ran a tank full of gas and definitely recommend doing another oil change when you do any type of sea foam activity with your vehicle or your motorcycle or whatever have you, just dumping sea foam in. But so, yeah, guys, I'll go ahead and uh, get this buttoned up. Um, so, that's the video. Uh, anytime you got sea foam, do an oil change right afterwards. There was a thousand miles in that oil and it was just black. So, but there it is, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like anything, go ahead and like it. If you uh, want to see updated stuff, new stuff coming up, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.